Hi, this is Nayan Kodar from Bengal College of Engineering and Technology, PC Department. This is Digital Communication Lab. Subject code is 691. Today, we will perform experiment number 5. Today's experiment is delta modulation and demodulation. So this is our delta modulation and demodulation trainer kit. In this trainer kit we have a delta modulator. Here we have message signal input terminal. Here we have clock input terminal that means carrier signal input terminal now and from here we get delta modulated output so as there is a message signal input terminal so in our kit this is a message signal generator so from this terminal AF output we get our message signal which is a sinusoidal signal and from here from this terminal clock output we get our carrier signal out. so we fed both this message signal and carrier signal to the modulator I set my channel 1 of TSO to message signal so that at channel 1 we get message signal channel 2 is connected to digital output converted digital output of the message signal now if I want to see in our DSO so we can see that the yellow colored signal is channel 1 and the blue one is channel 2 so at channel 1 we get sinusoidal message signal and channel 2 we get the digitally converted message signal it's a clock pulse to view the message and carrier signal side by side i just connect my channel 2 to this clock output So that you can see message signal and carrier signal side by side. So here at channel 1 it is message signal and channel 2 it is carrier signal. So first we stop the signal and when change the time partition mode you can see a very high frequency clock pulse is our carrier signal and at the top this is message signal and this one is carrier signal so just change the time partition so that we get clear idea that this is a sinusoidal message signal and this is a clock pulse which is a carrier signal now we can come to trainer kit when we fade the carrier signal when we fade the carrier signal to the modulator and we connect channel 2 to delta modulated output so now we just connect our channel 2 to delta modulated output and channel 1 to message signal now when we switch to TSO we are supposed to see at channel 1 we have message signal and channel 2 we should get the delta modulated output so I am just run the TSO 
now change the time part division now a little bit make necessary adjustment so that the signal looks clear and proper so now we can see the message signal and delta modulated output side by side so just stop this I am stopping this signal so that we get a clear view. Now here this is message signal and this one is delta modulated signal. So here you can take tracing of the signal. So I am pausing here properly. Now this is our delta modulated output. If we want to get the demodulated signal, so we have a amplifier portion. So this is a demodulator, and I have connected this probe to the AF output, which will give us the demodulated signal. So now when I switch to TSO and run the signal, we are supposed to get the demodulated output at channel 2. So I am stopping the signal right now. So you can see that at channel 1, we have the sinusoidal input signal which is our message signal at channel 2. This is our demodulated output. So that's our delta modulation and demodulation experiment is complete.